indeterminate limits are limits like 0 times infinity, 0 to the power 0, or 1 to the power infinity. We often cannot evaluate those limits using the standard limit laws. Fortunately, L'Hopital's rule can aid us, as we will see in the examples in this video. Let us start with a 0 times infinity case. Limit x to 0 from above of x times the ln of x. Well, x goes to 0 and the ln of x, if x approaches 0, well, ln of x has a vertical asymptote, so if x approaches 0, that goes to minus infinity. So in fact, we have a 0 times minus infinity here. So, what's the limit if x goes to 0? Well, we cannot use L'Hopital's rule now here directly because L'Hopital's rule only works if we have a 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. And we don't have those. Well, let us make it like that because our x equals 1 over 1 over x. Why would you write x in such a complicated way? Well, if you would like this, we have a ln of x, which blows up, divided by 1 over x, which also blows up. So after rewriting our function slightly, we have a function of the form infinity over infinity. And then we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So we apply it, derivative of ln of x equals 1 over x, derivative of 1 over x equals minus 1 over x squared, so we have the limit of x to 0 over 1 over x over minus 1 over x squared. Simplify that, uh, multiply both numerator and denominator by x squared, then you get an x squared over x in the numerator equals x and an x squared o times minus 1 over x squared in the denominator equals a minus 1. So we get x over minus 1 for x to 0 just equals 0. So there we are. Our zero times infinity limit yields in this particular case a zero. Let's do another nasty indeterminant limit, zero to the power zero. So why is this nasty? Well, if you have a number to the power zero, you get one. And if you zero, if you have zero to some power, you get zero. But what happens in the mixture? What happens for zero to the power zero? That's something indeterminant. So let us see. Limit x to zero of x to the power x, so 0 to the power 0. For this limit, we use a trick which we can use uh, well, quite often in this type of limits. We use the fact that uh, some y equals e to the power ln of y. We use the fact that the exponential function and the logarithm are each other's inverses. So first we make this function really nasty. So we say that equals limit x to 0 of e to the power ln x to the power x. Why do we do that? Well, if we have the ln of x to the power x, we can take the x in front and we get e to the power x ln x. But still, we have a nasty limit. Now we have to take the limit x to 0 of e to the power x ln x. Well, the exponential function is continuous, which means that we can take the limit inside. So we get the limit of exponential function x to 0 of x times ln x. We still have an indeterminate limit. But we did that this limit over here and the example over here already. And we know that that second limit equals zero. So we get for our new limit and example two, a limit uh, e to the power zero equals one. So limit x to zero of x to the power x equals one. And a next indeterminate limit, zero times infinity. Zero times some number equals zero but infinity times some number equals infinity. So what happens if you mix the two, if you do zero times infinity again? And in this case we do limit x to infinity of x blowing up times the ln of x uh, 1 plus 1 over x. Well, 1 over x goes to 0, so we get the ln of 1, which is 0. So this part goes to 0, and this one blows up. So how can we do that? We use a similar trick. We turn the uh, x into a 1 over 1 over x. So that's what we do over here. And then if x goes to infinity, we now have a ln of 1 equals 0 over 1 over x equals 0. So we have 0 over 0. And we can use L'Hopital's rule. Well, L'Hopital's rule and the numerator becomes quite a mess. In the denominator, it's easy. The derivative of uh, 1 over x equals minus 1 over x squared. But for this ln, we have to be careful. The derivative of this ln equals 1 over 1 plus 1 over x, that is this term over here. And don't forget the chain factor, uh, the derivative of what is inside the ln equals a minus 1 over x squared. 
and you see, oh well, that's nice, but those factors here cancel out. So we limit, we have limit x to infinity of one plus one over x to the power minus one. But now everything is fine. You can take the limit in, and uh, the one over x limit equals zero. So you get one plus zero to the power minus one equals one as our limit in this case. And then finally, a uh, limit uh, uh, of the form one to the power infinity. Well, one to some power equals one, but uh, say uh, some number to the power infinity becomes infin infinity. So what will we, will we get here? One or infinity or something else. Uh, so we take our limit x to infinity of one plus one over x for x to infinity that becomes one, and we take x to infinity, so something to the power infinity. Well, we do the same trick here as we did in example two. Uh, we take the limit of uh, x to infinity of e to the power ln, what we had. And why do we do that? Well, because we can take then the x in front. So we get the uh, limit of x to infinity of e to the power x times the ln of something. And then we use again the same argument that the exponential function is a continuous function, so you can take the limit inside. So we get the expo exponent of limit x to infinity of x times the ln of 1 plus 1 over x. Well, this next limit we have now is pretty nasty, it's pretty annoying. Fortunately, we have done this one already in example 3, and we know that the outcome was just 1, so we get uh, uh, e to the power 1 equals e. And we have done our example 4. Well, in fact, you can even use this particular limit as a definition of the number e. So, now you see L'Hopital's rule at work. Uh, Sometimes you have to uh, play a bit around in order to get it in the correct form. But once you have it in the correct form, it is really powerful to compute a few very, very nasty limits.